The Timeline Rise of Jeff Bezos Jeffrey Preston Bezos is an internet entrepreneur, an industrialist, a media proprietor, an investor, a founder, a president, and a CEO. A renowned world celebrity and a life full of procurement. But when we talk about all the success and accolades, we tend to miss the struggle a man has to overcome to reach the pinnacle. Jeff Bezos was no exception. He started an ordinary life, worked hard, worked smart, turned the odds in his favor, and now he seems to be incomparable. Let's have a quick glance at his inspirational life-changing journey from the one in many to the only one. 1980, age 16, first job at McDonald's. When Jeff Bezos was in high school, he started working at McDonald's at the age of 16, the same age his mother was pregnant with him. His first job helped him learn a lot, how to handle pressure, how to take responsibilities, and an early insight into customer service, along with studying automation improvements. 1986, age 22, the journey commenced from Wall Street. After graduation, Bezos received job offers from established companies like Intel, Anderson Consulting, and Bell Labs, but instead, he decided to work for a telecommunications startup named Fitel. Bezos started as a debugger and worked his way up to become head of development and director of customer service. Unfortunately, his two-year service wasn't enough for Fatel to flourish, so Bezos decided to take on a new challenge as product manager at Bankers Trust. And soon after, Bezos was promoted to vice president. But the boring banker decided to call it quits after two years eyeing higher opportunities. Now 26, he joins a two-year-old hedge fund D.E. Shaw founded by David Shaw, known to have revolutionized Wall Street by introducing a simple compound called data. Jeff Bezos took only four years to become one of the company's vice presidents. It was early 1990s when Shaw asked Bezos to research and investigate new business opportunities and explore the World Wide Web. Jeff was quick to discover the unexposed digital aspect of the Internet and was keen to engage in it. The web usage at that time was increasing by 2,300% every year. So again, he decided to quit and start his own business, operating from a car garage. The concept was to sell books from his website, originally named Relentless.com, meaning we move on no matter what. 1994, age 30, the birth of an heirloom, Amazon. Bezos realized that the name Relentless wasn't getting him anywhere, so he settled on the name Amazon, the world's largest river. Amazon.com went live in July of 1995. The first investment of $300,000 came from his parents. In the early days, Bezos warned his investors that there was a 70% chance that the company could either crash or go bankrupt. His strategies would never gain immediate profits, often aiming at high market shares with low initial returns. But, Bezos wanted to capture the market by removing his competitors. Bezos' vision to apprehend the market was beyond books. He wanted everything from a pen to a car, everything that you could imagine. But putting aside all those visions and ideas, he knew his company was not making profits. Bezos' major stress was to convince his investors to stick with him till the end. And eventually, the faith paid off. Soon, the virtual shop claimed to be the world's largest bookstore. The major factor helping Amazon to succeed was their books were cheaper when bought online compared to the high street bookstores. Amazon had the advantage of being exempted of sales tax. Booksellers would complain of customers coming into their bookstores, roaming, searching, checking the books they wanted, but wouldn't make a purchase. Instead, they would buy them cheaper from Amazon. Bezos's tactic of bringing others out of the race was rewarding him. The expansion was evident. He soon introduced toys, music, electronics, video games, and more. His next business expansion was on the money, too. He invited all other businesses, including retailers, to sell their products online using his Amazon platform. His selling point to these thousands of businesses was access to Amazon's millions of customers. The Walmart of online business shortly became the most recognizable name in the e-commerce business and was one of the very few companies that survived the dot-com bubble burst a few years later. 1997, age 33, The Millionaire's Club 
Three years after launching Amazon, Jeff Bezos took it public with an initial public offering, or IPO, at a price of $18 per share. Bezos managed to raise $54 million as a result and was ultimately introduced into the Millionaire Club. The subsequent year saw Bezos marking an entry on the Forbes annual list of 400 richest Americans, courtesy of his 40% stake in Amazon, which was then worth approximately $1.6 billion. 1999, age 35, The Billionaires Club Amazon hits 25 million active customers. It expanded and gained a good market share in Europe. Bezos was listed on the Forbes World's Billionaires list with a registered net worth of $10.1 billion, but the joyful journey had limited fuel. The successive year saw the success graph curving downwards. 2000 was one of Amazon's toughest years. Some even predicted that the company would face problems with cash reserves. Maybe the thought of these cash problems prompted Bezos to engage in other missions. Bezos secretly launched Blue Origin, a company aiming to make his space dream a reality. At the same time, the prediction for the downfall of Amazon popped up. It was the last quarter of 2002, when Amazon's revenues dropped significantly and the company almost went bankrupt. Drastic actions were taken to shut distribution centers, resulting in a 14% loss of the Amazon workforce. But that wasn't the only catastrophe Bezos had to get through. 2003, age 39, the survival of the disaster. It was March 2003. Traveling in a helicopter, Jeff Bezos was scouting the deserts of Texas for a place to buy and to test his spacecrafts for Blue Origin, which he founded three years before in 2000. A gust of wind blew the helicopter off course, causing it to crash. Luckily, everyone in the helicopter survived the crash. And, fast forward to today, his miraculous escape allows Bezos to witness Blue Origin competing with Elon Musk's SpaceX in the race to colonize Mars. Two years later, Bezos launched Amazon Prime with an annual fee of $79, which later became the most successful membership program in history, promising a two-day delivery anywhere in the country without a minimum purchase requirement. The following year saw him inaugurate Amazon Web Services, AWS, which furnished cloud computing platforms, and a year later, he introduced Kindle with more than 90,000 books conquering the digital market. It was sold out within the first six hours of the release. It would seem that anything Jeff Bezos touched became gold at that time. 2013, age 49, breathing space for the hometown newspaper. Jeff Bezos rescued the struggling Washington Post by purchasing it for a quarter of a billion dollars from the Graham family's decades of ownership via Nash Holdings, a limited liability private company. While some accused Bezos of using the deal to gain more political influence, he, on the other hand, never intended in any of the coverage. In fact, Washington Post flourished under the new ownership. The first significant change was noticed in 2014 when he lifted the online paywall for subscribers. In 2016, the paper made profits for the first time since Bezos took over. 2020, age 56, Beyond Life, Beyond World Currently, Jeff Bezos is the richest person on the planet, with a net worth of close to $180 billion. Amazon today stands as one of the world's elite companies, having a threshold evaluation of more than $1 trillion. While the company continues to rise beyond clouds, Jeff Bezos now aims to capture life beyond this world. As mentioned before, he currently competes with Elon Musk's SpaceX for the race to colonize Mars. And in case you've missed out on our video for the race to colonize Mars, you can click the link in the top right corner. Jeff Bezos is a familiar household name with his Amazon brand trusted by billions. A person who never stops enriching his life and, of course, his fortune. A person who revolutionized the e-commerce world, bringing us the best of the best in every product at our doorsteps. Jeff Bezos, you gem of a person, take a bow. Do let us know through the comments below if you want similar timelines from other great inspirational personalities and please check out our other video of Jeff Bezos, racing ahead to be the world's first trillionaire. In the meantime, do support this channel by liking this video and subscribing.